Okay, everyone, today I wanted to introduce you to the tablet. Um, this is the device that five programs in the school have been demoing so far this year. And uh, while we haven't really delved into all of the features that we can do with this particular device, um, the first step was to get the tablet, put it in the classroom, replace the laptop with it, and identify what it could and could not do uh, with re respect to what they were doing in the past. And um, with the exception of drafting, which has a software limitation because of the screen size, um, for the most part, we're not running into any issues that it cannot do. Um, and so that was the first step. Uh, you will notice that it has a fairly flimsy keyboard. It's not like a, a, a rigid hinge. Um, it has forward-facing cameras. There is two of them. Uh, they work together to create high dynamic range, just basically improve your camera capture without having uh, additional lighting in the room. It has a rear-facing camera and it has a kickstand. And so, like a Microsoft Surface, which is basically what this uh, is designed to be like, um, it works like a laptop using the kickstand just like this. The keyboard removes, and when you remove the keyboard, um, you can now easily use it as just a regular tablet around the room. And you'll notice that I'm currently connected to my TV with it, and you will also notice that I don't have any wires. Um, I am completely wirelessly connected to my TV with this device. Um, and I can get a full keyboard on the screen. Again, if you've never used one before, this is kind of a something you just get used to. Um, and I've taken a video, or not a video, but I've created a whiteboard. And in this whiteboard, um, I was doing some lessons. Yeah. There's also a pen. And with this little pen that is usually uh, either magnetically connected to the side of the device, um, and then lanyard to the device so that you don't lose it, um, you're able to draw on the screen. So hopefully you can see that screen back there in somewhat. If not, I can show it to you like this. Um, so this is the quote unquote digital whiteboard. Um, and the idea behind digital whiteboarding is that I can bring images in, whether I bring them in from Bing, um, which there's a Bing image search here, I can just say, I don't know, breaks, Pulling a quick image from Bing Images. Let's just put that on a different area of my whiteboard. And we'll blow it up. And hopefully you can see I have it both here and on my TV at the same time. And I'm able to now start marking this up. And I think that some of you currently have used our document camera or our other overhead device to bring these live uh, artifacts, uh, pieces of hardware, um, and project them on a whiteboard and then use your whiteboard to overlay scribbling on these things that you're, uh, that you're trying to show. And I guess what I would suggest is the way of doing this moving forward and then capturing that for the long term is if in theory I wanted to do a lesson about this little pen right here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tool and say grab from camera. And I'm just gonna leave my tablet right here on the table and I'm gonna just grab a picture of that camera. Now, I could just walk over to the car if I wanted to get the brake rotor and snap that picture and then come back into the classroom and go farther. But in this particular case, I might have something a little harder, a little bit uh, uh, more portable that I wanna just throw on, this, on the ground or throw on the table and I'll just snap a picture of it and it brings it right into my whiteboard and I can enlarge that picture and now I can start marking up that picture. And I'm hoping that you can see, you know, kind of as I move along on my screen here, I just put three devices, which we've tried to use in the past, the document camera, the projector, and the whiteboard, and put them all into one, and then replicated it 
with a TV. And all the while, I'm able to capture and keep this entire lesson, this entire whiteboard that I've been doing for several days that has several different learning uh, scribbles on it, is all in one place. And this is the long-term concept that I think that is going to take a lot of teaching and a lot of education and a little bit of mentoring and support from each other. But once we all get here, I don't think we're going to miss the way we've been doing things in the past. Uh, once you get familiar with doing it, I don't think you're gonna miss what you've been doing in the past. Um, I thought I would show you the power cord. So this is the little power cord. Um, it's totally different. It's different than what you've been using in your laptop previously. It plugs in to one of these ports here on the side and it's actually labeled power. I'm guessing I have terrible lighting, but I think it's this one right here, uh, the bottom one. And uh, that same connector plugs into a device that's about the size of an Apple TV. And I'm sorry I don't have one here to show you, but you can go to Maria Sargent's classroom or um, any of the other offices of the people that are in the pilot project. and. For the size of a, dice, a device that's about the size of this little box right here, that one cord plugs in and it is providing charge to the tablet as well as it's providing a connection for a large monitor so that you still have that desktop experience. Remember, we've been trying to give you a desktop experience even with your laptop. Some of you chose to use it, some of you didn't. And I think in Maria Sargent's case, uh, where her software requires a bigger screen, um, this can go home every night and we can work on lessons, and this can go around the school as she needs it to, and it's very light and very portable and very easy, but then in her classroom, maybe we need to set up that full experience that's more of a desktop experience where she gets the big screen, um, and somehow maybe we need to position that at the front of the room for her, and maybe some of you others that have uh, the, the desire and the need for a bigger screen when you're in your classroom, maybe we just need to set up a monitor someplace for you with that docking station so that you can do that but yet this device is still the core processor of it all, and it's the one that you're picking up and you're walking out of the school with every day. Um, it's a great little device, excuse me. It's a great little device. Uh, it is only, I think, a 13-inch screen. Um, you'll notice that it just powered back on. TV came right back where it was. I didn't have to go through a, a lot of headache. Um, and I really think that once it's in your hands, um, and you start learning what you can do with it, you're just gonna grow with it and you're going to enjoy it. Um, whether you want to embrace all of the things that you can do or not, it's going to provide you with the conduit to do the things that you're currently doing right now in a more easier fashion, um, in a little bit more portable of a fashion. And I think um, your students are probably going to be a little bit more engaged if you start embracing what you can do with it.